Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alicia from Alicia Be Creative and in today's tutorial we're going to be making this Easter tumbler and I can't wait to get started. Of course everything I use will be listed and linked in the description box so let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm starting with a 16 ounce stainless steel tumbler from the Seal Magnolia Company that is linked down in the description box and I have already spray painted it with a purple. This is a French lilac from rust two times and I've given that a nice coat and we're going to get into our decals so we can get into the decoration or design process of this tumbler. So I am Cricut in, I am Cricut, I'm not Cricut, I am in Cricut Design Space and I have just opened a canvas. I want to show you how I created this bunny decal. So I bought this set of three bunnies, an SVG off of Etsy, and I have just put that into my canvas and I have resized it to be about three inches wide so that I can obviously see all three bunnies on my screen here. I am using Cricut Design Space from my phone. It's just easiest to record. And so so I now am just going to size it a little bit bigger, get a little bit closer, and I'm going to pull up a shape. So I'm going to use the square shape in Cricut Design Space, and we're going to slice the bunnies because I only need one of these bunnies. I don't need all three. So I'm going to size that square right over the two bunnies that I do not need, and then I'm going to select both images and go ahead and click the slice button in Cricut Design Space, which is going to remove those two bunnies from the one bunny that I'm going to be using. So we're moving all those other items out of the way. I'm going to delete those and get rid of those since I will not be using them. And then I'm going to size the bunny that I am going to be using to three inches wide, which is going to give me about five, a little over five inches in length, which is perfect for my cup because a plump fits about six inches, I believe, the length of the cup. Change that to white and then go ahead and get this cut on some white vinyl. So of course I'm gonna start with the decal first. So I did only do one coat of spray paint on my cup. I am taking a little bit of a risk or a gamble here because I do run the risk of my transfer tape pulling up on the paint, but I'm willing to risk it for this design here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my transfer tape on my bunny here and we're gonna place the bunny first. That way we can do all the design work surrounding the bunny after we've gotten this placed. So just going and applying my bunny, securing the center of the decal first before going into smoothing the sides. And this is going to cut down on the amount of bubbles that you'll get in your decals. You also could use the, I believe there's like a water or a Windex method. I always just go in and just literally apply and use my squeegee if I'm worried about bubbles or just go back in afterward and pop those with a craft knife. So once I've gotten this applied, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be adding just a few kind of design elements elements to this. And what I love about this cup and design is that it really is so simple. It is literally a cup design that you could have a child do for like a kid's party. Um, my youngest really loves to craft with me and we haven't yet gotten him to create his own cup. But this is one of those designs that because it's just paint and stickers essentially, it really is going to be so easy for a child to do. And then obviously as the adult, you can do the epoxying process. So I am using a couple of paints and a couple of glitters here and a bit of Mod Podge. So I have this light blue, I think it's called Blue Bonnet. It's a Craft Smart paint or an Apple Barrel paint. And then I have just a white paint I'm going to put those into two medicine cups and then I'm going to put a little bit of Mod Podge on top. So I could just have the glitter stick directly to the paint, but I wanted to make sure I got a really good adhesion of my glitter onto the dots that we're going to make on this cup. So I thought adding a little bit of Mod Podge would really help make sure that the glitter does stick really well. So once I get that cleaned, we are going to start with the blue here and we are going to use these little daubers that I found from I believe I found them from Michaels and so I'm not even really sure what you use them for they really remind me of like bingo daubers kind of um, but they're really kind of just fun and something that I just picked up at one of the times I was at the craft store because I'm always picking up something new <laughs> and so I'm just going to be using these to apply like different dots to the cup. And so I'm just using kind of this scrap piece of paper to just make sure I don't have too much paint on my dauber so it doesn't leave kind of like this huge mound of paint on there. And so I'm just going to take that dauber and literally just apply random dots of blue paint 
all over the cup, just kind of randomly, trying to make it kind of even and purposeful, um, but knowing I am going to go in with another color as well as some sticker decals. And so I'm also going to be adding on top of that to obviously give it a little bit of glitter. This is Perry Twinkle from 4K Glitter. This is from Shop Vinyl Gallery. I am just, honestly, I'm really in love with this color. It's like the fourth or fifth time I've used it and I cannot get enough. So I do have to use this sparingly, but I really am just really starting to love this color. It's a beautiful, beautiful, like blue lavender color and I just it really just screams spring for me so I'm going to take just a dry chip brush and just kind of brush off and clean up all of the excess and extra glitter that's kind of gotten around my cup tap off the excess glitter on those spots and then just make sure that I have full coverage on all my dots before I move into the next color now we're going to go ahead and move to the white dauber here. So same sort of scenario, just kind of using that piece of scrap paper there just to kind of make sure I don't have too much glue or too much paint on my dauber. And so that I get a nice even round circle of dot all over the spots I'm going to be placing. So again, going back in, kind of just placing my white dots in between all of the blue ones and just trying to, again, to make it look rather even. We are again going to be adding some Easter egg stickers that I got. And so I'm just making sure that I have enough space to add those but also that I'm filling up any large gaps so now going in with over the rainbow this is also also from 4k a glitter this is shop vinyl galleries glitter I love this it's got a beautiful rainbow sparkle and I've used it before in my leopard pastel tumbler that I will place the link to right here if you haven't caught that yet I absolutely love the sparkle and shine that this gives and so this was a great additive to add to the white spots on my tumbler so again just going to go through tap off all the excess glitter and just go through with a dry brush and just really try and clean up all of the areas in between this was a little bit harder I think that my brush one of my brushes might have been slightly wet just because I did get some straggling glitter that I could not for the life of me get off but that's okay in the end it still turned out to be a beautiful tumbler. So once I have gotten this all placed, we're then going to just let these two colors dry. Because it does have the glue, I'm going to let these fully dry for about probably 20 to 30 minutes before I go in and add my sticker decals. And then of course, we'll do some sealing as well. So now that my glitter and paint is dry, I'm going to go ahead and add these little, little stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby. So you can find these stickers in the scrapbook section at any craft store and I really just love going to the scrapbook section where all like the stickers are because you can really find some really unique designs different style stickers and I love going into that aisle because I always find something that inspires me to create a tumbler so obviously they have a lot of different themes in that aisle so if you're looking for something specific you're definitely bound to find something but I also love looking at just kind of the random stickers and then it coming up in with new tumbler designs and ideas just from looking at some stickers in that aisle. So I'm going to go ahead and place a couple of the larger Easter egg stickers right on the front by the bunny's feet. And then I'm going to take the smaller Easter egg stickers and just place those in those open spots in between all of the dots that I have on the tumbler. So just kind of picking and choosing where I place these. There's various colors of these. I think the eggs were yellow, pink, and green. There was two different styles of the pink. And so I just took these and just kind of placed them wherever. Again, just really giving into that Easter vibe that I have going on with this cup. And again, a cup that is so simple that literally a child could do it. So this would be a super fun activity for any of you crafters who have little ones that love to craft with you, but of course they can't do the, the epoxying process. This is definitely something that has led me to really wanting to let my youngest get into Tumblr crafting with me, at least through the design process, because he is one that just loves to be artistic and loves to play with glitter. So I definitely think this is something that I will be trying with him. So I'm going to finish up this um, applying of these little stickers, just placing a couple more on the front by the bunny's feet. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and spray seal the entire cup with clear cloth two times for solium spray, which I'll post a picture of right here. And once I've gotten it spray painted, I'm going to do two coats of the Alumilite Quick Coat to really seal this all in. After I've done that, I'm literally just going to do sanding along the top rim, which I didn't film because you guys have watched me sand before. So, and then literally after that, I was able to add two final coats of this and this tumbler is done. So let's take a look at the final result.
If you love today's tutorial, definitely make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also be sure to follow me on social media where you can catch some of my other lives. And of course you guys know I'll be back here on Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Bye.